One, two, one, two. Is this it? How's everybody? We outnumber you. That's good. So, <laughs> uh, We're going to feature this great band this evening. And on the first tune, uh, we're going to feature Mr. George Pas Pascal on the uh, tenor saxophone. And uh, we're going to feature, now th this is one of those things that never happens, but we're going to feature uh, Colin Watson. And he's not going to play the saxophone. He's going to play the bass clarinet, which will be interesting. Yeah, you heard the applause for that. That's, that's right. And Ryan Skiles is going to play on the keyboard. And Chris Book is going to play on the bass. Ryan Skiles, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, he's got the uh, Nord keyboard this evening. And then he has something that I had back in 1973, the Rhodes piano. Ah, oh, that's great. That will hurt your back. Just want to <laughs> let you know that you play one of those things. And this is a tune uh, uh, called Give Me Some of That Heat.
Thank you very much. That was, that was Colin Watson down there on the bass clarinet. And then he played that beautiful thing at the end there, the uh, baritone saxophone that was just stunning. Uh, George Pascal over here. <laughs> you have a fan, George, you have a fan club. Yes, you do, okay. And let's see who else played on that. Ryan Skiles played at the keyboard. And the amazing, uh, by the way, uh, how many people are here from North Dakota this evening? One, there's one, we have two, maybe two. Uh, that's where Chris is from, so there you go. So we had somebody from North Dakota, they, they had, up there, is that where it was? You have a ride home, by the way, just in case. Just wanna make sure that you know. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Um, let's see. Oh, we're gonna feature our truly gifted uh, alto saxophone player, and uh, Benny has been in the band for a few years now, and he's just an amazing player, and he's an amazing writer, too. We're gonna play an arrangement of his. And uh, anyway, this is an arrangement that I actually originally did for Jack Sheldon, who was this uh, wonderful vocalist, and uh, it's called You Stepped Out of, uh, uh, what is it? You Stepped Out of a Dream, and this will feature Benny. Uh, there's a Darwin version, which we call You Stepped Out of a Stream, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> but not all humor is funny, so we're just gonna move on anyway. <laughs> so we're gonna feature Benny.
Benny Goldman. Come on, Benny. All right, we're going to feature the uh, trombone section, which is always scary, actually. It's always a frightening thing. But we're going to feature the trombone section. And uh, a man who very seldom plays a solo. And, uh, and, and, and this was one of the few times that we played this tune. We played it in rehearsal. And he stood up and he started playing a solo. And he had, had just out of nowhere. And so we're going to feature Mr. Mike Book on the, uh, on the trombone. So again, this is another guy from North Dakota. Uh, and apparently in North Dakota, when they feel like playing the trombone, they're, they're going to play it. They're just going to do that. So we're going we're gonna to feature Mike. This, and this is a tune called To Put It in a Nice Way. And this will feature our trombone section, um, as it were. As it is. They're standing up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wow. Does that mean we have to be up? No. <laughs> this is show business, by the way.
Mike Book. Yeah, Mike. That's how they play in North Dakota. I'm gonna let you know. Out in the fields, yeah, sure. <laughs> Just like Fargo, whatever that movie was. That was a very bizarre movie. Um, I talked a little bit about Benny, who uh, is, he's a kind of a little sneaky artist. Of his, and he's, he's a very quiet man. Um, you never know what he's going to do. Uh, he may be carrying a sharp object, but you never know. Uh, no, Benny is, is a really amazing saxophone player. And uh, he actually went originally, and we're lucky to have him, he went to Cal State Northridge and played in the band there for a while. And then he's come to play here. And other than being a great saxophone player, he's also a great writer. But he only writes one arrangement like every once in a while. You know, just like, you know, 10 years, there's one, whatever. And I would say, Benny, you have to write more. And so anyway, he did. And this is an arrangement uh, that he, uh, what this, this is called, um, what's just this one called? What is this called? Oh, another, is this called Another Really Fast? It, it, it's been changed. It's called, uh, we, we had a name for this. It, it, it was really fast. Then we couldn't play it as fast as he wanted to play it, so it's kind of fast. It's been renamed to what is it now? Another Really Kind of Fast Tune. Another Really Kind of Fast Tune. So... And so this is, uh, and so this will feature uh, Ben. Uh, who, who plays on this? Is Mark? Do you play on this? Mark Isbell down here on the tenor saxophone, and um, we had a trumpet player who was going to be here this evening, and then something, and, and it always happens when you have this many people, uh, something happens, and then we, you know, then there's a change, and at the last minute, at the last second. Uh, we had uh, a sub come in and is going to help us out tonight and play a solo on this. This is Mr. Matt Franke back here. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't, don't clap yet. Wait a minute, that's what, no, it's not true. Um, Matt Franke, and uh, we're, we're so lucky to have him. And uh, we throw names around here. And this is a, a, I've known Matt for many, many years. He's played at Disneyland and whatever. He is, he's currently, but not at this moment, he is Celine Dion's uh, lead trumpet player, and uh, so that's it's great that he's here tonight because <laughs> Celine is. No, you don't play any arrangements like this on the Celine Dion thing. Um, so anyway, he's going to play a lot of notes that he never plays on the Celine Dion uh, uh, band, and uh, but Celine isn't singing, but we can't tell you why, or can we tell you why anymore, or? She's going to be singing again in June. You heard the round of applause for that, so that's a... She's really good. Yeah. yeah. Celine Dion, you'll love her. She's great. She's really good. All right, wait, now this is tough because he's going to count off a kind of fast tune, but not really fast tune, but a fast tune.
Isbell, and at the very beginning we had Brian Skiles, and we're here on the Mighty Nord, on the Mighty Road. Okay, how many people in this band have, used, have worked at Disneyland? How many have we got here? We got, oh, whoa, good heavens, quite a few. Yeah, how many currently? Wow, okay, all right. We're going to... Um, I did a, a kind of a stupid thing uh, a while back, and my wife will tell you that. Well, there's several, actually, but the, the one I'll tell you about is uh, uh, decided that I was going to play the trumpet. Uh, and I'm a saxophone player uh, normally, and, uh, or abnormally. And uh, so I decided I'd play the trumpet. And so every day I would get up, so I'd be a practice a, a tune, I would write a song. And uh, so I wrote this tune one day, and uh, just to, to play it and have fun playing it. And uh, this is... Uh, this is a waltz, and so I, I couldn't figure out a title for it, and so it's called The Best Waltz I Wrote Today. And uh, this will feature Tommy Griffith over here on the trombone, and Tommy, Tommy also has worked at Disneyland. What band did you play at Disneyland there? Well, I was like a permanent sub for 10 years, but I uh, did all the parades and, and royal band. And, and the royal band? Yeah. The royal band. Did you wear tights? I wore the purple tights. Hey, they're purple tights. <laughs> That's very important that you should know that. With legs this long, nobody really noticed. Yeah. <laughs> he's, wearing them, he's, wearing them right he's wearing them right now, by the way. Should, should let you know. And by the way, what's that? Oh, you do? That's, that's great to know. <laughs> and our sound man, John Kubis, my son, I call him Mikey, he's back there, and he works at Disneyland all the time. Are you wearing your tights tonight? Yes. 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 So that's just something, just it's our little joke together. So anyway, this is called The Best Waltz I Wrote Today.
Tommy Griffin. Yeah, Tommy. Yeah, man. It always helps if you wear the purple tights because it kind of gets you up a little higher at the area. Yes. <laughs> they're more swimming. Um, uh, it's time, we're going to have, a, we have a vocal group that is going to be here this evening, that is actually here this evening, and uh, we're going to feature the Swing Kittens, and uh, come on out, kittens, give them a round of applause, <laughs> Nicole Kubis, <laughs> Kaylee Griffith, no relation, Nicole Pereira, and uh, the one over there on the far side, that's my daughter. And uh, you heard the round of applause, that's what. <laughs> and uh, she actually started this group a while back and uh, with a group called the Swing Cats. And they do McGuire Sisters tunes and uh, um, who else? Andrew Sisters. Andrew Sisters tunes, yes, indeed. Anyway. Uh, so uh, we're going to feature them on. Uh, we're going to do no more. We'll do more. No, we're going to do no more first. And uh, and who is that? An Andrew Sisters tune or is that a McGuire Sisters tune? McGuire. McGuire Sisters. Okay. Just wanted to know. <laughs> my daughter's my daughter's really good at counting bands off, so I'm going to have her do this. Well, we're, we're still waiting on this, but I, I think uh, they're, they are going to do, be doing a tour this uh, summer. They're going to Australia for a month. What's in Australia anyway? There's like, whatever, I don't know. Uh, they're going with the Glenn Miller Band. Uh, and so they'll be touring, like, where, where do you start? You start in, perhaps, in Thailand? Mm -hmm. Two different tours. Oh, Two different Bangkok. tours. Right. One for Bangkok. Yeah. Yes. So they're going to be touring this, you know, that's incredible. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's great. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do uh, That's the Moon, My Son. And this will feature our substitute trumpet player this evening, Mr. Matt Franke, who has a solo out in front. <laughs> it's, it's uh, yeah, yeah. And we're telling him that now so he's not surprised. <laughs>
you're going dancing, your dreams may get a start, but don't you let that moonlight take advantage of your heart, your stepping out tonight. Cheek to cheek, do not let your heart grow weak. Just remember that's the moon, my son. She may thrill you to the skies with the moonlight in her eyes. The moonlight fades away when night is done. You may kiss her if you can, but be careful, little man. dream of shoes and rice sunny but you must know for sure she's the one but if she can reach your heart even when you're far apart then that's not the moon that's love my son maybe she's really very nice maybe you'll dream of shoes and rice sunny but you must know for sure she is She can reach your heart Even when you're far apart Then you don't know That's not the moon That's love, my son Sweet kittens Soon to be seen in Australia <laughs> Hey, Mikey how you doing up there? Good. You want to play? Sure. Okay. We're gonna. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure you don't. Uh, we're gonna feature our sound man. <laughs> what? The sound man? He's gonna play something? Uh, we're gonna feature John, and we have no idea what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a jazz experience. Whatever. Yeah, that was nice. You got lights and everything. Wow, that's great. You must know Mark Craig. <laughs> All right, what should we do? You want to do a blues or something like that, or would that be fine? Nothing's more paid more blues than the dude? All right, all right, all right. I have to grab a saxophone because... Okay, of course. 
John Kubis. Yeah, man. Matt Franke. Chris Book, back there on the bass. Oh, you're gonna oh, you're gonna do sound now. Yes. Very good. Jimmy Ford, by the way, on his drums. The Ford drums. All right, let me put this, let me put this, whatever this is. How many people remember the 70s? All right, there we go, okay. I thought, I thought just for the fun of it, because I, I love writing, I thought, well, you know, I had a bunch of arrangements that I did back in the 70s, which are, uh, <laughs> they're 70s, that's what they are. And I thought, well, okay, I'll write something kind of, uh, just out of the fun of it, and I, I, I wrote this tune called Does Anybody Still Boogaloo, Boogaloo Anymore? And so we're going to do this. I don't know if there's anybody that Boogaloo's out there. I probably won't admit it, but uh, anyway, this is a, this, that's what this is called. And who does this feature, by the way? Who's uh, playing on this? Is it Benny? Is it Benny? Yeah, Benny, and Benny and Tommy Griffith. And then are you playing on this too? Okay, you're on this as well. So 
this is called, does anybody boogaloo anymore? And you'll recognize this because it will take you back to your youth. Um, whatever you did during the 70s, this will be, I can't even remember. So.
Was that Benny? Benny. Benny. Great solo on that. And Tommy Griffith back there. Yeah. Nate, when were you born? 1989. Okay, so you, you totally missed the 70s. <laughs> Have you ever seen a phone booth? Oh, yeah. Do you know what a pop top is? Oh, you do? Okay, well, you're, you're very well schooled for, you know, that's very good. What else would he not know? I can't remember. I can't think of anything that was... Eight tracks. Eight tracks. You ever seen an eight track? Oh, you've seen an eight track. Okay. All right, we can't fool you on anything. A rotary telephone. That would be a good one. What was that? I didn't hear that? Oh, the Cosby Show. You ever seen that? You've seen that too. All right, we can't fool him on anything here. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, what's next here? We're going to do, um, what's the next tune? Oh, all right. We're going to feature one of my most favorite musicians on the planet. Um, and this is a, uh, I ran into uh, Mike King on the freeway. No, not, we, I ran into Mike uh, at Long Beach State. And as a matter of fact, uh, because it's a community college, we have so many people who are just just around, and, and Mike uh, decided to come over and play with us, which is so exciting. Mike was playing at Long Beach State, and he just finished, by the way, and this is, a, this is a great thing, he just finished his senior recital, and so now he's a free man. Give him a round of applause. And the first time I saw him, he was wearing a, uh, uh, what were you wearing, a, like a, a red, uh, Red vest and everything. I thought he was like going to deliver pizzas, in, you know, but um, no, he didn't have purple hair. Did he have purple hair? No. Uh, anyway, uh, Mike is a great, a really great bass trombone player. And for those of you who don't know, that is a bass trombone. It looks different than a normal trombone. Actually, that eats regular trombones for lunch. And, uh, and he's a marvelous bass trombone player. And uh, we're going to feature him on a, uh, is it Miles Davis? wrote this Gillespie, tune? Right? Dizzy Gillespie wrote this tune. This is called A Night in Tunisia. And give a wonderful round of applause to a great bass trombone player, Mr. Mike King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank uh you. -huh. 
The softer side of, of my king, which is right there. Yeah, that's where that is. That's our little joke, I guess. <laughs> um, since my, 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 my two children are here, there's, there's, uh, there's something that uh, John is doing sound and my daughter. There's something that I've, you know, if, if, if I were to get up in the morning and go, you know, this is the band I want to play with, th th this would be, uh, let me show you what I would really enjoy doing. That's the band I want to play with. That's when I want to wake up in the morning. I didn't want to play uh, Giant Steps, you know, get up in the morning and go, da 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 I just want, I just want to do that. That's, that's, that's it right there. I could just die and be happy. So that would be great. And, and it's funny because Jimmy, and, and Jimmy, Jimmy loves to play the shuffle as well, so we're, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a fun thing. We're going to do a tune featuring Ryan on the, uh, it, we normally, but he has a B3 organ at home. But he didn't bring it this evening, so we have a. Ah, uh, here I hear somebody up there going. Oh, uh, this is a Nord. It's made in where is it made? Uh, where is it? It's made in Sweden. It sounds like a B3, so we're going to play that. And uh, this is a tune actually was recorded in originally in Sweden, and uh, it's called the B3 Blues, and it will feature Ryan. And uh, he's a marvelous player. He can play, he plays the left hand, and he plays solos, and he can, he's a brilliant player. So we're always excited to have him, and we're excited that he brought his Rhodes um, stage, not stage, this is the suitcase piano. I used to have one of these in the 70s, this piano here, and this is a great way to learn to uh, throw your back out. Anyway, this is B3 Blues. And you want to count this off? It's all you. Thank you. 
Nord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna. Uh, oh, <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna play a tune that you may or may not know. This is kind of a contest for those of you in the audience. It's kind of generational. Some of you are gonna know this tune, and others of you. Uh, some, some when you hear it, you're gonna go, "Oh, that's great." Others of you are gonna go, like, "What? I don't know what this is." You're going to be looking at the people next to you and not knowing what it is. So anyway, at the end, if you know what this is, I'll have you raise your hand. Those of you who don't know, you don't get to raise your hand. So good luck. Good luck. Don't tell anybody. If you're sitting next to somebody who doesn't know, just laugh at them. Ha, 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 ha. I know this one. And then that's it. So. Oh, this will feature this tune that you don't know. Uh, who's playing on this, by the way? Let's make sure. Oh, Hugh's going to play. And uh, and Matt's gonna play. Is that it? Is that um, okay? All right, here goes. Good luck. Thank you. 
people knew what that was? Okay, how many people didn't know what that was? Okay, what was it? It's a Super Mario Brothers, yay! All right. Mamma Mia! I had a hat. I, we did this the other night at, uh, at uh, the middle school, and, and they made a little hat for me. I had a little red hat that said, had a big M on it. And then now it gets into one of these things, like if you do an arrangement like that, then everybody goes, you know, you should really do like a, the underwater thing. You know, that's a really good one too. And it's got into this whole thing of like, you know, so, so there may be more of these. Uh, if my, my son was doing this, he'd be doing Zelda, right? You'd be doing all that. Yeah, ah, the Zelda fans are here. All right, yeah, Zelda. Yeah, okay, good. All right, good. Um, we have a coffee cart here on uh, on campus, and uh, Sergio and uh, another lovely lady. I can't, well, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name right now, but uh, this is a. Uh, I wrote a tune for them because they were always so nice to me when I would go over and get my coffee in the morning, and this is called the Coffee Cart Song. And this will feature, this features a variety of people actually on this. Let me see, who's on this? Uh, Colin's gonna play the baritone saxophone. Yay. Yay. Uh, and we haven't heard from our vibe player, John Moses over here, so we're gonna have him play. Yeah. Ah, John Moses fans are here. All right, and let's see whom else. Uh, Nate's gonna play again, which is really good. Uh, Chris Book. And then we're gonna have a, an extended solo by Mr. Jimmy Ford playing the four drums. There we go. That's right. It's not the Edsel drums, that's a whole. You know what an Edsel is? Do you know what an Edsel is? No, no, no. no. Yeah, he knows what it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just checking from the seven. No, what, was, what year was that? I can't even remember. All right. This is called the Coffee Cart Song. And um, I will say. That when we first recorded this, I do have, there's a recording of this. <laughs> and uh, some of you are left. No, I'm not going, I'm not going to make this a cheap shot. I'm not going, okay, all right. It's fine. This has an introduction. And um, I thought when I wrote it, it was a very simple introduction. I thought, well, you know, we'll look through four bars, you know, blah, 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 and go right on to the tune. And uh, this one had Jimmy fooled. Uh, and Jimmy was on the, the original recording of this. And... Uh, and we actually did, uh, we played that four bars. Now, four bars is very short. For those of you who don't know, it's like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, two, four, three. But that's it. That's four bars. Boom. And we move on to the tune. And uh, Jimmy had a little trouble with it. So uh, about uh, an hour and a half, <laughs> it took before we got the actual take of the introduction to four bars. So, and uh, what was your line? What did you say? You, that was kind of funny. Yeah, he said, I wonder if Steve Gadd ever had that problem. And, and, and as soon as he got that out, I said, no. <laughs> it's not funny to a lot of people, but it's, it's <laughs> anyway. So we're not going to take an hour and a half and go through this, and we'll, we'll get through this. But this is the, uh, maybe, yeah, this is the, uh, the coffee cart song. It's kind of a cute tune, so. If I do say so myself. All right. Jimmy, are you ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
Jimmy Ford. Colin Watson played a wonderful baritone saxophone solo on there. The Jonathan Mosen, Moses fans right there. Jonathan Moses. And uh, Nate played a great solo on that. Chris Book. Before we go, and, uh, and, and, and uh, it, it, it's so difficult to, to do some of these concerts with all the paperwork. There's more paperwork than there are tunes in the world. And I want to uh, uh, introduce a few people if they're here. Uh, first of all, the guy who, this none of this would happen if it wasn't for a guy that I've known here since uh, probably back in the late 60s and, and 70s. We go back a very long way, but he's worked here for a very long time. Very good friend, Mr. Mark Craig. Mark, where are you? Come on out here and say hello. You got to give up, give it up for Mark. Mark is family, and uh, and Sigrid, are, where's Sigrid? Is Sigrid here? Sigrid Wolf, are you here anywhere? Come out here. Come out here. Here's Sigrid. Come here for a second. We we have a we have a, a great deal in common because we both love cats, and uh, she's got some great. How many cats have you got now? She's got 11 cats. She should be arrested and taken away, but she's, uh, it's because of that. It's great. Uh, thank you to the Swing Kittens. Come out here and say hello. Come on, kittens. All right, there they all are. And all the theater staff who's here tonight, it's great. And thank you, band. Stand up. Round of applause for the band this evening. They were wonderful, as always. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you. Hopefully, we'll see you at our Christmas concert, which will be uh, in a little while. And uh, have a safe trip home. Thank you so much. Good night.